Have I ever talked to you about my sister? No. She was in a car accident the night before her 18th birthday. Was she badly hurt? Both legs were amputated above the knee. Jesus. But for someone as young and beautiful as Gabrielle, it was shattering. She had everything going for her. Every time I looked at her, I had to turn my head away so that she wouldn't see me cry. Don't be sad, she'd say. I'm still alive, and I've still got my family. I mean, Jesus, is that courage? Yeah. So I went and lay beside her and held her in my arms, and we cried together for hours. I'm sorry, you're looking a bit pale. No, no, I'm okay. Well, without either of us knowing quite how or why, we became lovers. Jesus. No legs? I know. It sounds sordid, but it wasn't. I loved her. One night, the light was suddenly switched on, and there was my mom. Oh, oh no. Can you imagine how we felt, how she felt? There was nothing she could say to us. And there was nothing we could say to her. Later, we listened to her sobbing in her room. I picked up my sister and carried her to my mom's room, and we all clung together, crying like lost souls in the dark. Gradually, as the night wore on, this is too much for you, isn't it? Oh, it gets worse. I'm all right. Again, I have no idea quite how and why, but my mom and I became lovers, too. Jesus. Three nights later, my father arrived home early from a conference. He looked at the three of us and said just one thing. You've killed me, son. Three days later, he shot himself. It's no wonder. And I've been impotent ever since. <laughs> I'm having you on. <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> As if I'm impotent. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucker. I'm not impotent.